under it. Jenny B. Jones, The Left Wonder. By Baba Park, illustrated by Dennis Francis. Chapter Six, Full of Soup. That night, Daddy took me into bed. He said that Polly Ellen's perfect brother is a blow of snoop. There's no such thing as tooth with Jenny B. He said, "I promise you, there isn't." Polly Ellen's perfect brother just made that up to scare Polly Ellen, and then Polly Ellen said, "Said it to scare you too." I shook my head. No, Daddy, no, it's not make up. I know it isn't, cause the tooth fair, cause the tooth makes tooth which makes sense. That's why she make way, way more sense than a fairy. Did he raise his eyebrows? Why he asked? Why does the witch make more sense for than a fairy? Because. I said because tooth witch likes to chomp the teeth, but the tooth fairy doesn't do anything with the teeth at all. And so why would she even pay money for them? Daddy did a little frown. Yeah, well, I don't know actually. He said, but I'm sure Dad must do something with the teeth. Can you be there or other things to do with your besides just chomping them? You know, like what? I asked. Daddy put his hand on his head. Then he thought and thought and thought. After he 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 got done thinking, he went to get another. She came into my room carrying Fuzzy Ollie. She handed him to Daddy and sat down on my, on the on my bed. Daddy said, "You have another problem about the tooth fairy." She said. I nodded. Yes, I said. Cause if they're really a fairy, then she has to have a reason to want the teeth, right, mother? She won't just sorry throw them in the garbage. Cause that doesn't make any sense. Plus, also it would hurt my feelings. Mother hung me. No, Jenny B. Of course she doesn't throw them in the garbage. She said. I'm sure does this. The fairy does something very special with the teeth. Like what? I said. Mother ran her tiny fingers through her hair. She stood up and walked back on the floor on my rug. Then all of a sudden, she, her face got brighter. I know. I bet fairy used uses to the teeth to make jewelry. She said. At first, Daddy said. Daddy and I didn't say any words. We just stared and stared at that woman. Jewelry, I said finally. Wonder smiled. Yes, of course, she said. She she probably used to to make teeth to make little tooth necklaces and sell bracelets and cute little toe rings. How does that sound? I made a sick face. It sounds worth possible, said Daddy. Mother stopped smiling. She took Ollie back from Daddy, and she hurried out of the room. After she left, Daddy finished tucking me back in bed. I'm sorry about that, Jenny B. She said. I'm afraid Dolly has your mother born to a frazzle these days. But I'm sure you're, she's not right about that jewelry thing. He did a little shiver. No, certainly she's not. He said. Then, before I could ask any more questions about fairy, he kissed me good night, and she rushed out of my room fa- as fast as mother. That night, I did not put the tooth under my pillow. Also, I did not put it under there the night after that, or night after that, because what do you know? The fairy still did not make sense. Chapter seven, a stumper. The next morning was cold. I put my speed cub into the into my backpack, and I took it to my bus stop. Cause mother said I couldn't take my tooth. Because, but the speed cub was a grandma's idea. Grandpa's idea. I said, "Her a seat." Then I bounced up and down, real excited, cause I couldn't wait for him to see. Of course, finally we got to his. Bus stop. I waved to him the window. 
Then, ha, I lay my face real close to the glass, and I smiled my biggest smile. Her Bible popped right out of his head. He ran on the bus, zipped it quick. It came out, Herb, it came out, I said. My tooth came out on Friday, and it's been out ever since. I smiled for him again. See me, Herb, see how lo- I look? I look fascinating, right? I don't look like an Uncle Low Hurtley. Herb's eyeball kept popping out at me. Wow! He said, Wow! I laughed at that. I laughed at that. Nice comment. I smiled and pointed. See my tooth hole, Herb? Huh? I look cute, right? I don't even like it actually like Uncle Lou. Correct? Herb said, Wow again. After that, I quit got my backpack and I did my zipper. Yeah, only wait till you hear the, he, see this, Herbert. I said I brought something special to see, you to see. After that, I pulled on the cap and I put it right on his lap. Ta-da! As my spit cup, Herb, I used his cup to rinse, rinse my actual spit. I show him in the edge. See that pink color right there? That's pink is from the bleeding. Herb, Herbert's face did not look delighted. Okay, thank you. He said, "Please get it, please get it off, off of me now." I got it off. But I thought you would like this. I said, very disappointed. Her patting me, live and learn. He said, pretty soon he's got, his face got normally again. So, how much money did you get from that tooth fairy, Jenny B? He asked. Did you get a lot of cash? My stomach did a flip flop at that question, cause I didn't want to discuss the matter, of course. I squirmed in my seat, kind of worried. Then I looked out the window and I didn't talk. Her patted me. What's wrong, Jenny B? He said. How come you don't answer me? The fairy did come, right? She didn't forget you, did she? I looked all around. Then I, I stood next to him, very close, and I quit my, quiet in my voice to the whisper. Yeah, only I can't even discuss that matter, Herb. I said, cause I know the stuff about the fairy. Stop? What kind of stuff? He asked. I whispered even softer. Sorry, I said, but I have to keep it a secret. And so please don't ask me any more questions. And I mean it. After that, I pretended to lock my lips, my lips, and I threw away the key. I saw it on the TV once. Herb looked annoyed at me. I locked my lips again. Ah,、oh, don't be mad at me. I said I can't help what I know, Herb. And then anyway, all I, all you have to do is think about it. Has the fairy doesn't make sense. Herb scratch, scratches his head. What do you mean she doesn't make sense? Why does she? I cross my arms because that does fairy do with teeth, Herbert? Huh? Did you ever ask yourself that problem? Why is the fairy paying the money for teeth when she doesn't even have to use them? It's kind of fishy, don't you think? After staring at me, well, I said, do you know the answer, Herb? A fairy wouldn't just throw the teeth in the garbage, would she? Cause the teeth, cause that, cause that doesn't even add up. Only nobody knows what she she does with them. But apparently, not even you bet. Her brain curled his eyebrows. I never think about thought about it. He said. At his he tapped on his chin. What does the fairy do with the teeth? Hmm, that's a stumper. All right. After that, he slid the way down in his seat. I thought some more too. We were school real quiet. Chapter Eight: Smiling. When we fin- finally got to school, I started feeling shaky inside, cause I didn't want to get laughed at. Remember? Plus, I was still con- considering about the fruit throwing. I closed my mouth real tight, then I walked back to my desk. Then he smiled and waved at me. I waved back, then very slow, I did a shy smile. That's when the lion jumped on Fernie's head, and he did a loud whoop. Cool, he said. You look cool, Jenny B. Hold her hair, Lani, and come to see. Then she grinned and grinned at my brand new smile, and he gave a happy high five. And that is not even the best part, because Mister Scary was、uh, what was the going on, and he came all the way to my desk and 
to see my tooth, and he gave my smiley face the curb. After that, he clapped his hands together and he made an announcement to room one. Here's Jenny B, smiling at the children. May. He told them I lost my tooth, and he asked me to stand up and show them my my special new smile. I swallowed real nervous, then I stood behind my jittery, and I opened my lips and teased a bit so so the children could see my tooth hole. Oh, and what do you know? Room once, room once was happy for me. All of them smiled real nice, except Nami, of course. May just rolled her eyeballs. It's May rolled her eyeballs at Jenny B. Jones. I think you look weird, Jenny Jones. She said, I think your smile looks silly. I said, no, May, this is the silly ma- smile. I said, then I put my fingers in the side of my mouth and I stretch my smile across my face. And I wiggle my tongue at her very fast. Onion Jose laughed and laughed. And guess what? At lunch time, I made my... Smile even funnier. Kalani gave a, a rain shine and I put it right in my tooth hole and the stuck there very curious. Truly laughed her head off at that joke. I am being in to enjoy, enjoy that girl. So how much did the tooth fairy leave you? She asked. Did you get a bundle? Yes, Kalani, I was wondering that too. I started feeling squirm again. I looked at her kind of worried. He tried to explain the matter to them. Um, well, uh, Jenny B didn't actually leave her to for there yet, he said. All of the children looked at, looked at me. Why, they said. Why didn't you leave yet, Jenny B? I squirmed some more. Then finally, I took a deep breath. I got this with that fairy. That's why I was kind of quiet. Issues? asked Lani. What, well, like, what kind of issues? I swallowed real hard. Issues, like, well, you know, like, what does she do with your teeth? For instance, I said, for a minute, nobody said anything. Then May made a cuckoo sign at me. What does the fairy do with the teeth? She said, what kind of dumb issues is that? I flashed my angry side at her. At the girl. There's Jenny B. And May. I think May is jealous. Well, if it's so dumb, then you must know the answer, right, May? I said. And so, what does the fairy do with the teeth, huh? She doesn't play, pay money just to throw them away, does she? After that, I waited and waited for her to answer. The other children were ready too, but May didn't say anything. Well, I said, well, said Shirley, well, said Jose. Finally, Miss fa- face con- turned red, and she went to the drink of water. After that, the whole lunch whole lunch table started talking about the fairy. Only no one knew what she did about this. Uh, we wondered and wondered. Then all of a sudden, Lucia stood up, and she fluffed her, her fluffy dress. Well, guess what? I don't even really care what a tooth, tooth fairy does with the teeth. All I care is how much money she leaves. She looked at room one. You're nothing without money, people. Remember that? She said. I tapped on my fingers, kind of, table kind of annoyed. Yeah, only that doesn't even answer, answer my question, Lucille. Because I still don't know how, how, what she does with the teeth. Lucille put her hands on his her like hips. Well, maybe she just collects them. She said, "Did you ever think of that, huh? Collecting stuff is a hobby, you know. My Rishiana collects and see tons of junk, and she pays good money for it too." I tapped on my finger some more. Then I put my chin in my hands, and I thought about Lucille's nana. Finally, I started to smile a little bit, cause maybe Lucy's idea make might make some sense, possibly. Pretty soon, Herb Herb smiled a little bit too. A tooth collection, huh? He said. Maybe that's the answer, Jenny B. Yeah, that just might be it. 
The fairy might collect these as a hobby or something. Sure, said Lenny. There's nothing wrong with the collecting stuff. Like I collect baseball cards, but I don't really do anything with them. See, said I collect matchbox cards. And he said to say, "What's wrong with that?" Just then, Sheldon sprang up from his chair.、Um, table. Yes, and I collect vacuum cleaner bags. And the doctor says that's perfectly normal. After that, Sheldon laughed and she pretended to vacuum his pants. All of us move away here. Then a bell rang for everyone. Went outside for recess. That afternoon, I wrote in my journal, "Dear First Grade Journal, me and her talk on more on the on the playground. We decided that Tooth Fairy has a tooth collection, probably, and that is not even weird, possibly. Also, I promised her I would put my tooth under my pillow tonight. I hope we are right about that. This woman from Jenny B." First grader. P.S. I wish my me all the best. Chapter nine. Miracles. That night, mother put me in the bed. Daddy was in baby's Ollie's room. Baby Ollie's room. He was trying to rock that cranky boy to sleep. We heard Ollie fussy. I bet you're glad I'm not that bad, right, mother? I said that baby is a pain in our necks, right? Mother laughed. Oh, believe me, Jenny B. You were no pinch. When we were teething, either she said she tickled me a little bit. Speaking of teeth, tonight is a big night, right? She said, "Tonight is the night you're finally leaving your teeth for the fairy." I covered my face with my sheet. Don't remind me, I said. And mother laughed again. Don't be silly. This is going to be fun. She handed me my tooth and put it under my pillow. I handed it right back to her. You do it, mother. You put it under my pillow, okay? I said, and put it close to the edge, please, 'cause I don't want the fairy tramping around down there. Mother put it close to the edge. She let me chuck it. After that, she leaned down and she gave me a big hug. I'm very proud of you, Jenny B. She said, "I'm very, very proud that you got over the, all that silly nonsense, Holly Ellen, before you told you, told you." Thank you, I said. I'm proud of me too. After that, mother kissed me good night and she turned on my light. A quick turn it on again. Yeah, only I think I will sleep the light on tonight. I said, you know, just in case I have to come running out of my room in the middle of the night because there's a witch in here. Mother did a sigh. Whatever she said. After that, she gave me another hug and she closed my door. You know, just in case, I have to come running out of my room in the middle of the night because there is a witch in here. Mother did a sigh. Whatever she said. After that, she gave me a little another hug and she closed my door. I jumped up and opened it again. Yeah, only I think I will sleep with the door open tonight. I said, you know, just in case I started screaming my head off in the middle of the night because there is a witch in here. Mother said, "I give up. I give up means the same words as whatever." I believe. After that, she kissed me one more time, and she left my room. The next morning, I I walked up very relieved because guess what? I made it through the night. That's what I held myself for happy. And all of a sudden, I remembered about the fairy. And my heart started to pound and pound it because there was a money under my pillow right at that minute. I took a big breath, then I then very careful I reached under、uh, there and I felt all around. And bingo, my start my finger started touch touching something. I grabbed and hold it and put it out. Then then I sat up straight in bed and. I laughed and laughed, cause goodness, ha, cash! I zoomed to the kitchen and skipped all around the table. Cash, cash! I got cash! I hollered, "Ralph, who, Ralph, Ralph? Who wants to see it, huh? Who wants to see my cash? Please raise your hand." I looked all around the kitchen. Then I stopped skipping, because no one was actually in here. I zoomed back down in the hall. Mother, Daddy, where are you? Where are you? The fairy, the fairy left me money. 
Mother t stuck her head out of the Molly's room. We're in here, honey. She called, and I skip into Ollie's room and show them my money. My money. Look, people, I got cash. I got cash. I said, only I don't know how much it adds up to, but it's half bottles. I bet that his eyes got big and wide at my money. Whoa, the tooth fairy must have been feeling very generous last night. He said, I know it. I said, I love that fairy, Daddy. She said, she loved my, she loved me, money. And she didn't even pinch my cheeks. Ollie was sitting in the crib. She smiled at the bars at me. I looked surprised at him. What's wrong with Ollie, mother? I said. I asked. Why he so smiling? He is sick or something? Mother laughs. No, Sally. She said. When I came to this morning, he was playing in his crib, happy as can be. I scratched my head. Really? All is happy? I said. Then thought. Daddy ping 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 up. Well, actually, Ollie had a little surprise for us th this morning too. She said she sat down with Ollie on the floor, and she gentle, very gentle. He took my fingers and he rubbed it against the Ollie's gums. Hey, I said, it's rigidy, rigidy. Daddy grinned. I sure did it. He said, that's Ollie's first tooth, Jenny B. My whole face. My whole mouth came open at the news. A tooth? I said, "Oh, you got a tooth?" I felt rich some more. Wow, we wow, wow! Last night there was a good tooth, good tooth night for both of us. I said, "Yes, this was," said Daddy. What a neat coincidence, huh? Oh, you got his first tooth on the very same day that the night fairy came to get yours. Mother ruffled my hair. It's almost like Ollie was waiting for the tooth fairy to come too. Jenny B, just like you. I smiled at that. Thought of that. Then all of a sudden, I stood real still. I, and the goosebumps came on my arms. Wait a minute! I said real soft. What did you just say, mother? Uh, mother, mother looked at me kind of strange. I said it's almost like Ollie was waiting for the tooth fairy to come too. Just then, a little loud gasp. That's it! I said, "That's it! That's it!" I sprang way high in the air. Down, I strode all around, and I hung mother real tight. All he did wait for the fairy. I said, "He waited for the fairy, just like me." Mother and I raised their eyebrows and very curious. I skipped all around in the circle. Don't you get it? I said, "The fairy recycled. She recycled my baby tooth, and she gave it to Ollie." My face started to dance. It's perfect, I said. I, it's just like down down the soda cane. The ter the fairy took my tooth and she made it all shiny and new, and then she gave it to all, my very own baby brother. A quick bend down it down and fell all is gone again. Yes, sorry, Bob. That's my tooth. All right, I know that tooth anywhere. I said. That's a scratchy scratchy set. Well, I'll be. He said. Mother laughed. What's a great idea? It is, Mother. I said it is a great idea. Plus, also, it is a big relief because the tooth fairy doesn't just throw teeth in the garbage. No, I knew that for sure. I looked at my money again. It's just like a Mrs. Chris told us. I said, real squealy. Recycle makes sense. Got it, Mother. Got it, Daddy. Sense is like sense. Ha!、Huh, that's a good one, right? After that, I jumped to my room to get dressed for school. I can't wait to tell the children. I hope everyone is going to love this news. I put on my favorite pants and sweater. Then I quick ran to my Ollie and I felt his tooth some more. As he smiled at me again, I smiled back at him. Cause what do you know? I think I like that boy after all. Here's Ollie playing happy, and Jenny B smile. Oh, Ollie smiled to her, and her and Jenny B. Jenny B is smiling back at Ollie. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe my channel. Bye. Oh.